and first my co-host, Paul Hollis, author of the Holloman series, owner of Holloman Publishing and American May VA. Paul, I know you're excited, you're excited about our guest today. I am. I'd like to welcome uh, Keenan Booker. He is uh, a um, the, the CEO of, of Stargate Publishing, and I'd love to talk to, to, to book people all the time. So welcome, Keenan. Thank you for having me. How are you doing? Fantastic. So how did it start? Were you a writer first and then in the becoming a publisher? How did that story start? Um, well, yeah, it's my last name is Booker. So obviously, you know, uh, that's Anglo-Saxon for bookmaker. And um, once I hit the career space, I decided to take that route. I've been writing. I've been reading books my entire life. So, uh, you know, it was forced upon me as a child. And I just kept it going from there. And by the time I got to around the age of 30, which I'm 40 now, I said, hey, let's put out some real stuff. So that's what ended up happening. And so, yeah, I became a publisher while an author at the same time. They both like synced with each other. So so tell us about your books first. And then so you publish other people as well after we can talk about your books. I haven't I haven't published anybody else. I've only published my books. I went on a tirade for the past 10 years. Uh, I was in the bowels of deep history in a lot of different areas. So I just was in that mix and I just ended up putting out material after material after material. And now I just got done writing an encyclopedia and I'm done because the material I put out is just intellectually too demanding. So <laughs> so tell me all the stuff you take put out. Okay, well, the last books I just put out were called The Encyclopedia on the Alchemy of Women, which is a two-volume series. And then uh, before that, I put out uh, Kicked Out of Heaven, the Untold History of Old Europe, um, which is a three-volume series. And that goes over everything, okay? So we're talking about... Uh, witch trials and werewolf court trials and executioners' personal diaries from 1500 Germany. Um, I also wrote a book called The Voodoo Edition, which is uh, talking about Caribbean history and everything that happened in between the Ivory Coast and America and the, the invisible space in the islands, basically. And then I also put out a book called The Ethereal Law, which is a philosophy. And then my first book, which is the black man's Bible, which is a, a basically a memoir with a lot of other information in, in, interwoven into it. So what is the, the passion of why you write so many books? What are you hoping to do? Well, I would stabilize my career for one. And then um, for two, bring some hidden truths. So um, we all don't know how in depth a Cinderella was to us or a Snow White or what, what, like I was stating earlier, what is a witch? What is a werewolf? What is a vampire? What are these things? Where do they come from? They come from folklore. And there's a lot of details about them inside these areas of folklore that nobody knows about, whether we are talking about Ireland, Scotland, Germany, France, Italy, you know, there, there's, you know, a lot of people don't understand that. The story of Cinderella alone took 360 different stories to compose that one story. Okay. Wow. So, mm. Yeah. There's 360 different stories from different regions of old Europe that compiled into Cinderella. So um, things like that, who were the Grimm brothers, you know, what happened in the islands? Why are the islands named after saints? You know, all of these things were questions that developed over time that stuck with me throughout the course of my life. And I got to answer them. So who is your audience that wants to read your books? I have a wide range of, uh, because I have my material uploaded on the academia.edu site. So I have, there's, you know, pontific, uh, universities read my material. I have a large audience here in America that are African-American, of course, and I also have a um, European audience. I have a large audience in the United Kingdom. So um, my audience really consists of collegiates and alumnus and emeritus. And I didn't know that was what was going to happen. But it, it happened once I put out the material and people started using it as reference material. And even though they're not allowed to use it in the classes, sometimes the... Uh, the their uh professors say no you know this is a self-published guy he isn't uh none of the colleagues so they don't 
really allow my material to be used, but it is used indirectly. If you understand what I'm it's saying. gotta be really cool. Right. Yeah. That you're, you're able to do that, like to be able to put this out and then get an audience that you didn't expect. It's right. gotta be a lot of fun getting feedback from them and stuff like that. Right. Oh uh, yeah, it definitely is. Um, what ended up happening, it, it cures a lot of mental health issues. Um, because today we aren't historically literate like we should be. We don't under we don't comprehend the details of the everyday man just in simply 1800 to 1900. So for me to go all the way back to the troubles of the 1500s and to show you like the first chapter of this book right here, it goes over a thousand years of weather patterns. So there was a lot of natural disasters that was going on in old Europe. There was a little ice age period from 1300 to 1700 that created some very drastic conditions. And that is also where we get folkloric stories like the Snow White comes from that time period and some of those experiences. And the modern day mind doesn't comprehend that humans had it that tough and had it that rough. And we survived. Specific, especially if you relate to the Black Plague of 1347, you know, and things of that nature and the details of what was going on, we don't comprehend it today. Therefore, we've lost respect for each other. We've lost common courtesy. We've lost uh, respect for our environment and also the animal kingdom, you know. So it, it is interesting that I'm able to sort of rewire people's minds to, hey, you got it in full convenience. There's you have no right to complain, you know, type. Of so thing. you you wrote it takes you a long time to write a book, right? All the research. Right. Uh, I like to tell it from the horse's mouth as much as possible. So a lot of the material that I've used is more of in a compilation format. And then I just give a little psychoanalytical view or, you know, give my little words and commentary on the side of it. So my books are really composed like a museum. I, I try to provide as many paintings and as many pictures as possible because some of the information is so out of this world that it's unbelievable. But then there's drawings to, um, to you know, to confirm it, to verify everything that you're reading. So, you know, it, it, it is fun. I, I do like the way it, it, people have consumed it and taken it and comprehend it. Yeah. All right. So where's the best place people can buy your books and stuff? Where can they go, Keenan? Uh, they can go to my website, kickedoutofheaven.com. You can also go to Amazon and put in my name, Keenan Booker, and all my material will show up and are readily available. And if you go to kickedoutofheaven.com, the books come with pictures that are colored, over a thousand pictures that are colored inside the material. If you buy it from Amazon, they won't come in color. So, Got to buy it from your website. That's yeah, smart. Buy it from what buy it directly from the author, and it comes with a, a certificate of authenticity. So awesome. Hey, it's impressive stuff. Totally different than I, you know, that a lot of people are doing, and it's great research. So appreciate it, Keenan. Thanks for stopping by. All right. Thank you. All right, you're listening and watching the Neil Haley Show, and we'll be back in just a moment.